friends. So today is day two in Osaka, or day three, and uh, I'm lost again, I'm trying to find my way to the next hotel. But the cool thing about Japan is it's a really great country to get lost in because it's so clean here and safe that you don't really have to care about where you are at any time of day. Um, you'll probably just be able to ask someone on the street and they can uh, just kind of point you in the direction even if you don't understand them just follow where they're pointing and go ask somebody else after you walk a little bit any legend of zelda fans this looks like a temple with triforces on it oh my gosh guys okay so what was supposed to be a 10 minute walk turned out to be a two hour walk i started here some guy at a hotel gave me this map and I had to walk here up this road into this area here where my hotel is at um, except this road is not as long as it appears to be it's like 50 times longer um, but I made it and that's my hotel it's a love hotel and the reason why I'm here is because uh, I didn't book any other hotels fast enough because they all booked out and this is the only one I could find in a short amount of time for a semi-reasonable price still freaking expensive though um, it's like 60 to 70 bucks a night so my wallet is eating it today and for the next four days but at least I can walk around here and uh, use the Wi-Fi so I can practice editing more videos Anyway, we're gonna walk around. The lady inside told me to go to uh, some Korean town place around here. She said it's pretty cool. So the lady at my hotel told me to come here. She said this is Koreatown. Um, everything still looks Japanese to me. Yeah, so this definitely still looks Japanese to me. Even though I was told this is Koreatown. Um, I even asked the lady at 7-Eleven and uh, she confirmed that this is the right place, but it still looks very much like Japan. Found Koreatown. Looks like it's just um, K-pop goods being sold here. There's like nothing in Korean, just K-pop. Oh well, it was a nice walk. Love hotel, love hotel, love hotel, love hotel, love hotel, love hotel, preschool, really big love hotel. Alright guys, so the part of Osaka that I'm staying in for the next four days is surrounded by temples and love hotels. Love hotels and temples. What does that say about Osaka? I'm just kidding, this entire country is perverted, but it is very nice. Go on a, for a walk around the block and uh, have a nice temple I want to show you back here. So, guys so I found this bench to sit in in this really nice park here and um, I noticed I've just been walking around the block where my hotel is at and it's really hard to film uh, first of all it's really awkward carrying a camera around and talking to it um, and other people just really don't like you filming or taking pictures in general um, there's signs everywhere that says no picture taking and even in the train station they have signs that say no selfie sticks I guess uh, because it's dangerous and people have had some accidents I guess um, but the the people here they just they follow the rules um, for most everything not wanting to stick out is, is the word I'm looking for so I mean that's not a bad thing this country is surviving well by following all their rules and 
Um, you know, maybe that's why they survived the the Fukushima incident and March 11th um, with that earthquake tsunami thing. If you have seen clips of those um, things, people were standing in very long lines waiting for food and they weren't arguing or anything. You know, that was pretty amazing. So it's another nice day here in Osaka. I'm just waiting to check in at my hotel in a few hours. So I'd like to upload to Instagram more, but I don't have internet. So I just have to wait until I return to the hotel for Wi-Fi. It's kind of crazy how we're so dependent on the internet these days and that by not having it, it almost feels like we're uh, unable to function. And so that was actually one of the reasons of this trip. Even though I'm in Japan right now, I'm just kind of unplugging for a while. And for the next four months, as I travel around Asia, um, that's what I'll be doing. Just kind of getting back in touch with uh, your roots, whatever that means, nothingness, and uh, enjoying not having internet. Well, at least outside of a hotel anyway. Hey guys, so I'm in my emergency love hotel and I just found out that there's no Wi-Fi here. Which to me is pretty ridiculous because I think every single hotel, especially in a country like Japan, should have Wi-Fi. Um, but that's what I get for not um, booking my stuff early enough. But anyway, I wanted to show you guys what it looks like on the inside. And it was freaking expensive, guys. This was also cash only. Um, and it was four nights is pretty much like $400. So, um, uh, not in a good mood right now, but hopefully four days with no internet will help me to just get some video editing done and enjoy the city, walk around. All right, so let's check it out. All right, so here's the entrance. Walking in, holy. Okay, this is a lot bigger than I thought. It's a lot bigger than uh, the capsule hotel that I was in yes, for the last two days. Dang, there's one pretty big bed. TV, there's actually a lot of space in here. Massage chair. You know, it's nice to have all these amenities, but no Wi-Fi, it kind of like just ruins it for me. What is this? Oh, oh, toilet. And shower. It's a pretty big shower. Where's the light? Where's the light? Yeah, forget it. All right, so this is my love hotel. First experience, but we'll see. I'm just gonna try to get some work done. This is awfully lumpy. Oh boy, what the? Oh boy, okay, well. Oh Japan. I feel like I'm in Crimson Room, if you guys remember that game back in the day. I'm scared to turn this TV on. I don't want anything inappropriate coming on. What the heck is this thing? Some sort of saddle. Rodeo boy, oh my gosh. Dang, I'm just trying to find the switch to turn this heater on. Okay, these are just different lights. 